morning guys and welcome to the latest episode of Yard Breather Outdoors. Uh, this weekend I planned on heading up north, but just as a long work week I had, I decided to stick close to home. So that being said, um, yesterday being Saturday, I tried to get some footage of getting some fishing out on uh, Madison Channel Lakes, in particular Winona, and uh, for perch, like, and uh, I struck out big time. Uh, I didn't even want to fish, to put it that way, any flag I had, I had two of them in So, um, this morning we're going to try and <coughs> um, head up to Devil's Lake and fish for some trout. Uh, it's a pretty neat little fishery up there, and the, the scenery is great. You know, a lot of people like to go to uh, Devil's Lake during the summer, but I tell you what, it's really neat uh, in the winter, especially when you get some snow. Uh, we got snow on the way, but there's probably no snow cover out there considering the warm weather that we've had. Uh, but as far as uh, the fish, um, there's a pretty healthy population of uh, brown trout in there. Um, last time, uh, two times that I was out there, previous, uh, I filled up pretty quick. You're allowed three fish, um, and they've got to be a minimum of nine inches. Um, DNR does a great job of stocking the lake. Uh, and the fish that uh, I've caught up out there have always been between uh, 12 and 14 inches. So, good fighters, great eating. Um, supposedly a nice population of big pike in there. I, a couple years back, I was out on the lake uh, hiking and actually came across a dead one on shore and it was huge. Uh, talking to a local that fishes the Devil's Lake quite a bit, he had said that yes, there are big pike out there, but they're real hard to catch because they're full of these big fatty trout that they eat, so they're really not hungry for much else. Uh, so, um, let's see what the day brings us. What I'm doing here is I'm about 30, uh, 30 35 feet of water here. Um, and I've got a double hook and I've got a crappie minnow on the other end of it. Just letting it sit. Um, a little quick tip here. Uh, what I do and a lot of guys do is they take a little bobber, a little tiny one, and what they do is put it right on the line right next to the spool. And what this does is number one, a lot of times when we're dealing with wind, the wind will pop the flag up on a tip up and we have is what you might call a false flag. So if the flag's up and we go walking up and see that bobber still sitting in there, it's just the wind and we set it back up. Now the other thing is a lot of times some fish still have that bait and only run for a little bit. If you look down in the hole and you can see that bobber down a little ways, um, and it lets you know that you might want to sit there and kind of wait it out for Just uh, another little trick you can use. Like I said, I'm about 30, 35 feet of water here, and uh, just come up a little bit off the bottom. And basically, I'm just doing, letting it, letting it sit, letting it do its thing. And hopefully that minnow is motivated. It's moving, I can see the bobber moving around, so we'll see what that does for us. Hey, so we made it out here. If you guys get the ever get the opportunity, come out to uh, the Devil's Lake. It's a pretty neat place, and especially in the winter, in my opinion, um, you almost get the vibe like you're fishing out west in the Rockies, you know, with the bluffs and whatnot. 
Um, it's an ultra clear lake. In the summer, they don't allow any gas motors. Um, it's just a really, really neat vibe here in the winter, though. Um, I don't know if you guys can check it, but we are getting some snow this morning. All right, so we got tip up set up. Um, what we're doing here now is we're fishing about 25 feet of water. Um, I've got a jig that's just set up with a bobber. Um, we're fishing it probably about 23 feet. Um, so just letting that sit. And I got a Swedish pimple here with uh, rosy red on it. I'm just going to jig that one. Um, so we'll see what happens. I haven't marked anything yet, but we come by in schools, at least in my past experience. Uh, and things get pretty fast and furious. So let's see what happens. Okay, so looking at the old Garmer Striker 4 here. If you look down on the bottom there, that solid line, that's my minnow. We don't know what that uh, other item is there on top of it, but I'm dropping down my, my pimple right now. And as you can see, it's going right down there. So if there's any questions about how well this item marks things, there's your proof right there. But uh, that item just going down right now, Swedish pimple, that puppy's just down towards the bottom. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, I'm going to be jigging just above it. Probably about 22 feet, so we'll see. There's one thing that my dad, <clears throat> my uncles, and my grandfathers have taught me. You gotta have snacks. Happy. Well, that was pretty disappointing to say the very least. Uh, Spent some time out here. I didn't mark a single thing again. That's uh, the second trip this weekend. That second trip in a row that I, I haven't marked a single fish. Um, I saw some fish caught around me, but uh, and I just wasn't in the spot, man. Um, in all fairness, I didn't spot hop either. But uh, let's see if we can't make another stop on the way home. See if we can't uh, resurrect this trip today, and see if we can't pick up some crappies or white bass, maybe maybe a perch or two. Uh, at Crystal Lake, huh? What the hell? So Devil's Lake served us up the big, big old fresh donut. Um, so we're gonna give this a shot here, a little different kind of lake. We're in a small lake, soft bottom. Uh, there's a healthy population of white bass, perch, and crappies in this lake. So that's what we're gonna fish for. We're just gonna have a, just a simple um, teardrop and, and a minnow and maybe even some spikes and drop that down. Now, of course, this fate would have it as soon as I got here, I started marking fish like crazy during my setup. So, um, I've had a couple instances where it looked like bigger schools came through. So, let's see what happens. Here we go. The screen is angry with fish right now, believe it or not. Let's see what we get here. Come on now. There we go. <sighs> Got him. Fish on. About time. God damn it. Ugh. I cursed. There's a little white bass. We're going to let this guy go. Get the, try and get something a little bit bigger than that. Alrighty. That's one. Again, all I'm using is little crappie minnows. It's pretty frustrating when you're sitting here and you're, you're marking fish go by and they're just they're not hitting it. Um, I've had multiple occasions here. Like it seems like every five minutes I've got fish coming through anywhere between 10 to 13 feet deep and they're not taking it. Um, a lot of guys coming out right now. This particular lake has a, a pretty good night bite, uh, which brings up an interesting topic as I'm marking more fish. Um, people think that just because a lake has crappies in it, that the night bite will always be fantastic. And, you know, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of guys that do very well fishing crappies at night. Um, but what I can tell you is that each body of water has its own personality. Um, some lakes will have a good night bite. This particular lake that I'm on here right now has a very good night bite for crappies. Um, some of the conversations as I get a bite are that uh, 
fish. Well, come on, take it, take it, take it. There he goes. A lot of guys say that, well, you know what, if it's, you know, it's got to have gin clear water for it to have a night bite and for it uh, to produce. And that's not true. This particular lake here is is dirty and and is uh, stained water. It's anything but that typical crappy water that you would think of. It's, it's a big mud hole, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the night bite is really good. Um, so I guess the thing to keep in mind here is that every lake has its own personality. Some will have a night bite, some won't. So just some things to keep in mind. Well guys, it's getting kind of late. Um, I stay. This lake, like I said earlier, has a, a pretty good night bite, but I, I don't have my lights with me. So um, I think we're gonna hang her up. Uh, Devil's Lake gave us the big donut. Didn't even mark any fish, I had one flag. On, uh, dropped the bait. And the bobber was down a little bit, but obviously didn't uh, want to commit to it. Um, caught one white bass here. Been marking fish since we arrived, but nothing's taken anything. So, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, it's what happens sometimes, I guess. Um, so, with that being said, um, we're gonna hang her up. Uh, next episodes, I'm not sure what's gonna be going on. I've got three days off coming, and. Uh, I've got some ideas um, on our next couple episodes, uh, so just uh, kind of stay tuned, subscribe, uh, you script, so you subscribe, you'll find out when I got new, new stuff posted, so uh, until then guys have a great week and we'll talk to you real soon.